All right, three of our proof festival, um, and I'm looking at this thing that we have to prove, and I'm trying to figure out what side to start on, and it's not really clear. They both sort of look equally kind of complicated, so I guess I'll start on the left side. You know, I don't know any other better thing to do, so if I start on the left, let's just rewrite it as we normally painfully do. Okay, all right, here we go. So, um, don't know what to do, so let's just change everything to sine and cosine. All right, so I'm changing the tangents to sine A over cosine A. All right, that's all I've done there. Uh, complex fraction again. So, let's multiply the top and the bottom by something that will clear that fraction, like cosine A over cosine A. So we do that, we distribute that in, becomes sine A minus sine A cosine A. And then we distribute this thing in. Well, it's not really added, it's all multiplied. So basically these cosines cancel and I'm left with sine squared A. All right, um, so what do we do? Well, if I look at the numerator, I see that I can factor that. And I don't know, is that a good thing to do? Well, I know that I can factor a sine A out. And I do notice that on this side here, on the right side where I'm trying to get to, keep the eye on the prize here, there's a sine A. So it kind of makes sense to at least try that. So I've got sine A, and I've got 1 minus cosine of A. And that's over sine squared A. All right. Now at this point, I noticed that, yes, I could cancel out one of the signs here. But if I'm thinking about it, and when I look at, since I have a sign here, I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm going to try something else. And this is just from experience, that this is 1 minus cosine of A. This is sine squared of A. Sine squared of A is 1 minus cosine squared of A. And if I'm thinking ahead, I could factor 1 minus cosine squared of A, and then I could cancel out that 1 minus cosine A. So let's try that. Okay, so I'm changing sine squared into 1 minus cosine squared. Okay, that's something that you really have to know. You have to know that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, which means 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared, and 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. Something that you got to get used to. All right, so let's do it with that. Uh, Factor So I've got one minus cosine a and one my plus cosine a okay, so I'm going to cancel out these All right, so that means I've got sine a Over one plus cosine a so I'm like oh wow. What the heck am I going to do now? um well, the good thing is, I've got a, like a something plus something on the bottom. That's a good sign. But it's not that clear what to do. So I'm going to make this small so I can at least see everything. And I apologize. It's pretty hard to see. But I want to show you something that you're allowed to do. Okay, I've worked on the left side. I've gotten to a certain point, and I'm not sure what to do next. So it's okay now to go to the right side. So I'm going to go to the right side. All right, so, and I'm just going to do what I did before. I'm going to change everything to sine and cosine.
All right, and then I'll do the same thing that we did before on the other side. I'm going to just multiply by cosine over cosine. All right, and then similar things going to occur. Um, I get sine squared a, and I get sine a plus sine a cosine a. Now I'm going to factor the bottom. I'm going to factor out a sine a. So I get 1 plus cosine a. Okay, now I have a sine a at the top. I have a sine at the bottom. All right, that's going to give me, one of those is going to cancel. So I'm with sine a over 1 plus cosine of a. Well, look at this. When I worked on the left side, I ended up with that. When I worked on the right side, I ended up with that. So now the left side is equal to the right side. And so we were done. We did it. Actually, I should say left. Because that's the left over here. So this is, this is something that is allowed. I just want to point that out. That you can start on one side, get to a certain point, and then get stuck, and then go to the other side, and you have to get to the same point. Okay, but notice, I'm not working on both sides at the same time. I'm working on one side at a time. That's really, really important.